In this video, we're going to talk about the multiplication rule in probability. And this is really more of a combinatorical problem. Combinatorics is the sort of the science of counting. So we're going to say, if an operation consists of k independent steps, that's really important. Um, uh, we'll see later what happens if the steps are dependent, but we're going to say these are independent steps. So the way you do step two doesn't depend in any way on the way you did step one. That's what that means. So we have a bunch of steps we have to do, but I don't care how I did the previous steps. I have so many choices for doing the next step. So if the first step can be performed in, let's call it just n1 ways, the second step is performed in n two ways, and the kth step all the way down to the kth step is performed in n sub k ways. Oops, there we go. Then the entire operation can be for performed in n one times n two times all the way up to n k. We multiply those numbers together. And you're going to see why. We're going to do an example on the next slide. So here's an example. Imagine that you wanted to build a desktop computer. And at the moment, we're going to go with, there's nothing super fancy. The, the kind of um, mouse you select doesn't depend on what kind of keyboard you get. The, the type of display doesn't depend on what kind of um, box you get. Right, it's they're all going to be independent. I'm not dealing with gaming situations. This is just kind of normal computer situations. We're also simplifying this so that the case contains everything from the case itself to the hard drive to the, the GPU, CPU, all of that stuff. That's all going to be self-contained. We're looking at a simplified view of this. Okay, so how many ways are there to buy a desktop computer if these are your options? Well, let's look. We have some four ways of getting the box, two ways, two different options for the monitor, three different keyboards, and six different mice. Okay, well, since we said each step is independent of the other steps, what kind of box I get doesn't depend on what kind of keyboard I got, then I can say that there are 4 times 2 times 3 times 6 equals 144 different ways um, to buy a computer. There are different computers you could buy. How about traveling? You want to travel from LA to London and then Tokyo. Maybe you're visiting a friend in London, but then you have to eventually get to Tokyo. So we want to know how many different possible routes there are. Well, obviously this is extremely abridged, but if we have three different ways to get from California to England and two different ways to get from England to Tokyo, then we have three times two is six routes to choose from. Right, and if you think about it, I could go this way and then this way, that's one. Or I could go this way and then this way, that's two. This way, this way, three, this way, this way, four, and so on. And you'll find that there are six different routes. That is the multiplication rule.